what are your thoughts on that, Pat, about how the swing has changed, and, and do you like all the changes? Do you feel that there's there's something lost in, in, in trying to, to make more carbon copy swings? That was a great question. I think that the golf swing now isn't so much, it is the fitness, but it's how the fitness is working into the core for the younger players. Um, the biggest change in golf to me in the last 12, 15 years is the length that, not your average golfer, because I think your average golfer, I don't think they've picked up much length at all, really in that period of time, as much as the tour player or the college player, because of how the swing now is from the core, yeah. which is the rotation of the hips, which is, when we first saw Tiger, it was like almost martial arts, how fast his hips turns through. Yeah. And like Justin Thomas, his dad was a uh, PGA professional. When Justin was small, young, he'd have Justin rotating just his hips as fast as he could turn. Yeah. Kind of like what we saw in, uh, in the NFL with Dak Prescott, they showed him, uh, him warming up without a football, and he could just go to here and just rotate his hips as fast as he can. So that being said, these younger players, college players uh, and pros, you know, are hitting the ball tremendous distances, especially with their irons. Yeah. We, we grew up where irons were going 150 yards, which was a good shot for a seven iron. And now they're hitting seven irons close to 200 yards, yeah. 210. And so, but they sw they're swinging with their hips now as we get older and we develop our own swings. It's like you said, a swing based on timing and, and, and smoothness and tempo. You don't hear tempo as much as we used to. Um, these players don't have that rotation. Okay, so they, they're swinging more with their upper body. And so I think when they're seeing players hit it so far and they're not, they're trying to swing too hard in the wrong way. They're not rotating their hips, which is allowing the club to come to the inside and to get more of an angle of attack and less casting. So they're swinging harder without rotation, unfortunately and coming over the top that I'm seeing more of casting and actually playing poorly because yeah. of that. So I think they need to go to the fact that, yeah, you know, 140, 150 yards per hour is great. Don't try to hit it so hard because we just they just don't have the hip rotation that some of these younger people do to do that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think that that's one of the keys that I always try and talk to the juniors about in our summer camps is just swing as fast as you can. Right. Right? Got to be in balance. Right. Got to have balance. Right? But swing as fast as you can staying in balance because you can't teach that. Right? That's, right. Those are those, those difficult lessons when the, when the guy comes to you who's 40 or 50 and he's, he's, he's maxed. He is capped out at swing speed right? because he just didn't swing it fast as a kid. You know, and that's, that's, plus, that's one of the more fun parts of golf. Last time I checked, hitting the ball far. Right, to that point, right, I think if all golfers spent more time on their short game, like 90% of their practice on their short game, I guarantee positioning of the club to impact on a regular swing would probably improve as well. You know, what, so what, what percentage, the question is, what percentage, uh, break down a practice schedule for, for our average member. What, what would percentage wise, putting, chipping, pitching, we'll call the same, chipping, pitching, bunker play even the same, and then, you know, on the range, pounding balls. What do you think? Well, it's a great question. Um, and I think our driving range is beautiful for that because it almost has stations just like we have in our PGA Junior for our camps. Yeah, which that's is really right. nice. And I think that, um, you know, you need to rotate just like we do for our kids. And uh, because that's what you do in golf. You know, you just don't hit balls and that's it. You have to. You have to drive it off the tee, you have to hit your iron shot, then you have to chip it, wedge it, or, or bunker it, and then putt it. So um, I think a lot of times, I think it would be good on our range, because it's so incredible that way, that you do that rotation. And you yeah. do it maybe, maybe you do it five or six times, so that you're actually doing exactly what you're gonna do when you play. Yeah. So, uh, but I think as far as percentages are concerned, I think that's where I like to take a look at and go out and play with them because you want to see, you know, where where is their issue, where is their problem. But as you know, you know, if you pick up 10 yards on track, man, that's not going to improve your score. And sometimes it makes it a little bit, your score actually goes up because you hit the ball 
too long or something. Yeah, you're getting but, into places but the, but the beauty of, of short game is, is it, you know, it has to be uh, the priority first, especially yeah. chipping. Yes, I'm a firm believer in chipping. You know, that's that to me is the, is is what um, you know down the road later I want to just do almost short game schools where yeah. it's just. I think sometimes we 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 go out and we try to hit the ball better, but we have to realize that it's all about the score and what's really going to bring down that score. Yeah. And I think that most people uh, just really don't know how to chip properly, and I think their expectation level is a little bit uh, low. I think they could really learn. I think all of our members could really learn how to be a tremendous chipper of the ball. For example, putting comes and goes. I mean, it's. You know, it, we have good days when we putt. It's like it's like basketball. You know, yeah. And sometimes, you know, Clay Thompson scores thirty-seven in the third period, but sometimes, you know, it's over eleven. So it's the same thing in putting. Yeah. But chipping yeah. is always one of those things. You're either really good or not. It's it's pretty much, and it's so important because you got to play in all kinds of weather and the trips that you take with Van and Dunes with the players and and uh, in Scotland and Ireland. You know, the, the conditions are better be able to chip because you're, yeah. you're, you know, you're, you're not going to hit it with the wind blowing 30, 40 miles an hour very well. Yeah, that's right. No, you're, you're exactly right. Um, yeah, that's interesting.